Allow me to tell you all the story of a land. A land under a sun of red, blue, and gold. With 301 come and gone, a culture was beginning to take hold. In a land of war, blood, and darkness, a land that was a sanctuary from the cold. A land that knows not any discrimination, whose owners serve their faith with a great dedication. A land with Christ as their lantern, their beacon. In an increasingly dark world, a land was born for those who seek their redemption. A land of red, the sacrifices that were given, the never-ending sacrifices made to continue our Armenian vision, the forever mounting challenges trying to accelerate our division, but these fools do not know that we are not atoms in fission. But just to say that we will never split, even though many of our plans here did not come to fruition. A land of blue, the beautiful lakes and rivers. Our faith is never ending with eternal death as we serve to it like very enthusiastic housekeepers. And yet, there will always be the times when the rivers run red with our blood. The flowers shriveled, the lakes dried up. Times most would see as killing and deadly and that would never run the course of their ride. Well, most people have no faith and such a silly idea was unheard of at the time for a small, peaceful country to survive, no, overcome genocide. See, you may slash at water, you may kick and you may punch, but try as you might, you will never do much. And the soul of our people, unkillable, immortal, is truly a blessing and it should be seen as such. Finally, as a nation, we bear many fruits. The golden apricot, the most famous in the group. We bear sweet, delicious crops, but what about this has to do with you? For we are not plants, we bear no roots and no leaves, but we do grow and we do plant our seeds. And it's up to us to choose how to live and how to grow, and then to teach our seeds, and then to let them go, to do the same for a brand new generation, with the seeds of Hayastan giving the world a very solid foundation. You see, we live in a land that is truly miraculous, for you do not have to physically be there to be surrounded by what it means to be Armenian. In fact, look around. We are gathered in a celebration of our land, our life, and our heritage. And what is even more truly grand is that all around us is Armenia, the land of our fathers, the land of our creation, created by our father. A land that I really need not name, for living out its destiny is its only true claim. A land that is the beautiful golden picture frame to the painting of our history, which all will soon know, under a, a beautiful sun of red, blue, and gold. Thank you. Bravo. Bravo.